All right, everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about the double under, meaning you're jumping up once and you're moving the rope underneath you twice underneath. It's a very good power move. It's great for increasing cardio capacity, strength, and speed. So, if you got your jump rope ready, you've got a timer, I'm sure you got some water close by, get all your gear together, and let's get busy. So, before we even start jumping over the rope, let's just keep the rope to the side. You're going to put both handles in one hand. If you're right-handed, it's going to be your right hand. If you're left-handed, put it in your left hand. Whatever your dominant side is, that's where you want to keep the rope. So, we're just going to start with a little bit of shadow jumping. Remember back to the very first video, we are just getting that basic bounce, getting the timing of the rope spinning, and you jumping over the rope. Getting okay, nice and easy. When we're doing shadow jumping for the double under, we want the rope to move twice for every one bounce that you go up and down. Ready? Here we go. So regular bounce, double. Two, three, four, double. Double. Two, three, four, double. Or double. Double. That's going to get you used to spinning the rope faster because the double under is two factors. The height of the jump, and how fast you spin the rope around. The faster you spin the rope, the less jump amplitude or height you're going to need, which is going to be a little less impact, okay? This is how we practice for your first double under. We're going to do four bounce steps, and after the fourth, you're going to pull the rope nice and fast and try to pull it underneath twice with one jump, just like so. One, two, three, four, double. Two, three, four, double. Double. Okay, so we're going to work that into a training protocol. Put your timer on for 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest in between. We're going to do eight total rounds and practicing just that. Four bounce steps to one double under, okay? It's important for us to review the jump posture that we talked about in the earlier videos, especially when we're working into the double unders, so we don't actually kick the feet forward and kick the feet backwards. We always want to make, maintain a nice neutral spine as we're jumping, not leaning forward and not leaning back, keeping everything nice and centered over top of the hips to avoid any sort of injuries to the back or the legs. Okay? Bouncing like so, and then pushing the toes down. And always make sure that you land toes down first, not heels down. As soon as you land heels down, you're going to reduce all the rebound and you're not going to be able to get consecutive double unders. Alright, so guys, grabbing your rope. I told you to set your time for 20 seconds of work. 10 seconds rest, and we do four bounce steps and one double under for eight rounds. All right, guys, here we go. And as we're going through this, if you can't quite make that one double under, that's okay. Eventually, over time and practice, you will definitely get the timing down. So don't get too discouraged. It's all part of the plan, I promise you. Here we go. Get going. So the row behind you, four bounce steps, one double under. Here we go. Go. One, two, three, four, double. Double. Whew. All right, it goes by fast, thankfully. So what you notice is that I'm pushing my thumbs down as I'm jumping up with that timing. Let's try it again. Here we go. Two. Go. Go. That happens. So going with that single double, single double, triple double. I guess it depends if we're talking about basketball or not, right? Here we go. Two, three, four. Four bounce steps. One double under. After the four bounces. Okay, 
I got it as a break. Okay, we're halfway there, guys. We got four more rounds to go. Yes, this will get you puffed out for sure. Let's go. Double. Okay guys, almost done. Three more rounds. Here we go. It's only 60 seconds of work. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Frustrated if you keep hitting yourself, just keep trying. Never believe. And eventually you'll get it. Push those thumbs down. Keep your own moving nice and fast. Whew. Okay. Thankfully, coming up on the last round, and it's like if you're feeling anything like I am, you want this to be over. <laughs> One, two. training practice on the single double under. Four bounce steps, one double under. It will dramatically increase the intensity of your jump rope sessions, whew, and obviously increase your cardio capacity. So, the question now is, how do I do consecutive double unders, Levi? Well, let me tell you. When you're landing, you have to think that immediately as your toes touch, you're going right back into the next double under. So, go back to your shadow jumping. Two handles in one hand, most likely your dominant hand. Again, if you're right handed, right hand. If you're left handed, left hand. So, you're gonna move the rope. One, two, three, four, double, double. Two, three, four, double, double. Double, double. So, when you land from the flight phase of your jump, Right down to the landing. Don't touch your heels to the ground. Push right back off. Land and explode. Land and explode. So, how do we practice that? Very good question. We're gonna go back to the same protocol we just did. Four bounce steps. We're gonna do is we're gonna start with one double under, four bounce steps, two double unders, four bounce steps, a three double unders, four bounce steps, four double unders and then four bounce steps. Adding one double under until we get to four and then we're gonna move it back down for these eight rounds. All right team, so for this one we're gonna do the same protocol. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds break, eight rounds. We're gonna do the one double under until we get to the four. Once we get to the four, we're gonna cycle it back down until we get to the one and go back and forth. It'll be much easier once you do it. Here we go. It'll make sense. In three, two, one, four jumps. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, Woo. Okay, so we're picking up at three, so that means the first one we have to do four bounces and four double unders. Guys, here we go, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to one. Two. One. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh. Okay, so we got to four, so we're starting back at one. Whew. Guys, this isn't easy. 
but it'll make you better. One, two, two, three, three, four. Oh, oh, gotta do three again. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. Woo. Okay, guys, we finished at one. We're going back up to two on this one. Oh. All right, here we go. Two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One. One, two. One, two, three. Oh. So, what you find is definitely gets a little bit harder to go through it because the amount of power you have to generate from your toes. Let's go though. One, two, three, four. Back down to one. One, two. One, two. Two, three. One, two, three. Ah, three again. One, two, three. No. Must successfully complete before moving on. So we're gonna go back down to three. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, this stuff is still challenging. Let's go. One, three, one, two, three. One, two, four. Back down to ones. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, three, four. Back down to ones. One. Woo. Guys, we're getting close to the end here. We got two rounds left. We finished at one, so we pick up at two. Holy shit. One, two. One, two, three. Ooh. One, two. Ah. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh. oh, I messed that one up. Okay, last one, guys. We're starting at two double unders. Whew. Hopefully, finishing at four. Last round, guys. Three. Two, one, let's go. One, three. One, two, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, whoo. Hey guys, that's a debate. Now, I don't care who you are, or how long you've been doing this, but let me tell you, that is a challenging workout. So, perfect it as you practice. Make sure that your moves are precise and deliberate. Make sure you keep breathing. Obviously, your cardio capacity is going to be greatly increased with the double unders, guys. Whew. I need to take a break. So, that means we're going to go on to the next video. So, until then, guys, keep practicing, rewind this. Play it on through, work out with it. Until next time, guys, stay fit, keep jumping, and be healthy and sexy and good to each other. Peace.